Professor Elio Malena has been working in the world of fencing for over 25 years and in this time has developed some really particular and complex types of gymnastic workouts which have inspired entire generations of athletes of merit. The gymnastics proposed in these workouts does not require artificial loads. It's based on the improvement of coordination skills, both with regard to general dynamics with exercises for loosening the joints, and from the point of view of the eye muscles, improving the perception of distance and movements completely independently from the upper and lower limbs. The characteristic of these exercises is the constant recall to technical fencing movements combined with the more classic elements of movement. When the coordination skills are sufficiently developed, the work concentrates on increasing muscular reactivity and elastic and explosive strength, without ever losing sight of the aspects of coordination, which are too often neglected in exercises with artificial loads. These can integrate with, but certainly not take the place of, work on the joints and natural strengthening exercises. the workout with a 10-minute run for general activation. It's important to feel the rhythm by voicing it. This helps the athlete concentrate better on the exercise and the time of performance. After the warm-up, the exercises for reactivity combined with technical movements begin. To make the exercises more effective, it's important to economise on movements.
some common mistakes are caused by trying to keep up with the pace set by the trainer, neglecting the technique of execution. It's better to go slowly at first and coordinate the movements correctly. Speed will come later. Stretching concludes the first phase of the work before moving on to the more difficult part with harder exercises and shorter pauses. When performing a series of movements which we're not used to doing, it's necessary to be more concentrated until our body acquires and absorbs the new difficulties. The key here is never to give up, because it's only through our will that motor difficulties can be overcome.
up, there, no, go, up, there, no, go, up, there. The need for this work stems from my experience in the field of body movement in fencing, observing a great lack of coordination of a general nature in both ordinary athletes and those at the top. I have tried, therefore, to improve this skill with specific exercises aimed at promoting both coordination and dynamic development suitable for the individual typology. It's important in this work to follow a line with an increasing level of difficulty. We are dealing with highly complex exercises which require considerable skills of coordination as well as elastic and reactive ability, as indeed we will see with athletes who usually carry out this type of work. Reaching for these goals tends to increase coordination skills and elastic reactive ability, as well as improving movement across the platform at high speed without losing the control and logicality of the movement.
fencing in Italy has always been the sports discipline that has given most satisfaction. Thanks to the work of highly talented technicians and athletes. But if we take a look behind these talents, very often there is a void, or at best, a gap in generations. This happens because attention is given exclusively to the athletes at the top who win, neglecting the base which has to supply future winners. To increase the possibility of discovering new talents, the average level has to be raised and numbers increased. To raise the average level of fencing in Italy, it's essential to improve the conditions at the base, both from a technical point of view, by strengthening the technical sectors and their coordination with peripheral structures, and from the athletic point of view, promoting a culture of athletic preparation specific to the discipline being practiced, creating the athlete before the fencer and not the other way round. Creating, creating the, the athlete, athlete before, before the fencer, fencer and, and not, not the, the other, other way round. round.